and welcome to a little video. Today we're going to be talking about Mick Jargon Nuggets faked his own car accident. So he doesn't actually show himself get into the accident. Like he doesn't show himself flip the car. Like they start screaming and stuff like that. Like he's like Lance starts screaming and then he drops the camera and then they start screaming like crazy. And then it cuts to him talking. And then, and then the car's flipped, which we're gonna get to in a second. Now he pretends to use NOS right here. Fifty. This this car accident shit is so fake. Like it's the fakest crap he's ever done. He didn't even show himself flip the car. Like that would have been a lot. That would have actually proved. Watch, watch, watch. Look, drops the camera and starts screaming that the car's not flipping. He's fucking wobbling the car to make it look like they're flipping it. Like, come on. It's the fakest crap ever. That is so fake. And then the car's fucking flipped over. All they did, all Swift does is smash the window. What I think happened is they pretended they were getting into a car accident and then they stopped at this area they turned the camera off they had someone come flip the car on its back or upside down they stayed inside or they got inside the car upside down and then they started screaming pretending that they got into a car accident that's how fake this crap is this crap is not real because you want to know why it's not real, and I'm going to prove you guys why it's not real. Because he he runs away with Lance. Or no, wait. Lance wants to call the cops, and Mick Juggernaut gets into his car and drives away. Like, nobody does that. If you get into a car accident, you don't run away. That's that's completely fake. And, be, and to be honest with you, he would have been more injured if he was going like 70, 80 miles an hour and flipped the car. He would have been injured. To be able to get out and walk and not have anything wrong with him is complete bullshit. That's fake. So yeah, he stopped the camera, they started screaming, and then they had someone flip the car over on its fucking back. And then, um, and then they got in the car. And then they started filming, pretending that they got into a car accident. Because they faked it. It's the same thing Lance did a couple of months ago. He faked his car accident too. It's probably Lance's idea. Dude, we should do a car accident video. Because I got 1.5 million views. And you know what we should do? We should do it with your dad's car. Even though it's not your dad's car. And then we should pretend that we got into a car accident. Because... We're gonna pretend and fool all these little kids that McJur and his fans are. Like nine to twelve year olds. That believe everything that McJur and does, even now everything he does isn't real. He doesn't live with his parents. He said before that's not even his parents. That's probably his car. And Lance probably came up with the idea to do it. It's all staged, it's all fake. And my best option is don't believe anything that McJur and says. Because he's a storyteller, and this he's not hurt, he's pretending to be hurt. So yeah, I just wanted to make this little video. I don't hate Mick Jordan Nuggets, because I actually I watch all his videos and I'm pretty entertained. I watched the whole Psycho series, and I enjoyed it. I enjoy his videos and his content. He makes good videos, but, but portraying that they're real, that's what I have a problem with. Because he said before that he was always going to say that they're fake or it's a story and he never did. That's what irritates me. So yeah, I like Mick Jernigan's videos, but I do not like how he's portraying that it's real. Anyway, that is it of the video, so bye.